And with the announcement we got earlier this week and today, Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood has set their lineup up and we're ready to go for Haunt Season 2024. Earlier this week, Halloween Horror Nights did announce a, their their Purge show is returning, so we have that to look forward to. But today, they dropped two announcements, one being the Terror Tram. And we speculated, we had an idea, but today it became official. It is Terror Tram, enter the Blumhouse. Now, this Terror Tram is going to feature a few characters from Blumhouse, such as Megan, the Grabber from Black Phone, uh, it looks like the killer from Freaky and uh, Happy Death Day. Now, I'm real excited for this. I think uh, Blumhouse has a good repertoire of slashers and killers. So I'm excited, especially it being the Terror Tram. I'm excited to see what they throw at us. You know, we're going to get uh, the Grabber and Megan. Hopefully, uh, you know, I don't know if each one's going to get their own section, but if they kind of just throw them all at us and let them, let them try and get us. I think that would be really fun. Now, that was the Terror Tram. And they made one more announcement, and it is house number eight. The Weekend is returning with the Weekend Nightmare Trilogy. The Weekend returns in a new haunted house spawned from After Hours, Dawn FM, and a horrifying new tale. Get ensnared by the most iconic moments inspired by his music videos and live performances. So that's interesting right there where he, you know, it kind of says, uh, obviously the music videos, you know, if you've ever watched The Weeknd's music videos, they're very dark, they're very, you know, very horror-esque and they have a horror vibe, but also his live performances. So I've never seen him perform live. I don't know what he's like, but it looks like they're going to pull maybe some stories or maybe some of the sets you know and kind of scale them down a little that he's done maybe on tour so that's very interesting i like that um when the weekend was here before um for after hours i thought it was one of the better houses that year i, I just wasn't sure how it was going to translate i did you know trust that horror nights was going to do a good job with the property but for the most part i think uh they did an excellent job with the property when it now, I know The weekend, as far as music-wise, maybe not may not fit the horror theme. And, you know, something I would say I, is I would like to see, you know, we've seen The weekend. I would have liked to see maybe a, a different artist, but we're getting The weekend, and all I have to go off of is what they've done before. And what they've done before with The weekend has been excellent. It's probably been the year that it was here. It's probably maybe in the top three houses for me so i'm not complaining i think they did a really good job last time the weekend came and i think they're going to kill it this time now with that being said we have our lineup and we're ready to go we have a quiet place ghostbusters frozen empire insidious the further the weekend nightmare trilogy the texas chainsaw massacre the legacy of leatherface universal monsters eternal bloodlines Monstros 2, The Nightmares of Latin America, Dead Exposure, Death Valley, and The Terror Tram, Enter the Blum House. The Purge stunt show is returning, so we have that as live entertainment as well. Now, if you're asking my opinion, I think this year with the scare zones that they have, with the haunt haunted houses that they have, the, the stunt show that they're doing... I think this year has potential to be one of the best years we've had in quite some time. And I'm very excited to see all these houses come to life and see, you know, the, the, these properties that, you know, a quiet place. And uh, I'm really excited for for Universal Monsters, Eternal Bloodlines, just all these properties that come to life for me to walk through them and, and just, you know, kind of take it all in. But... What do you think? Are you excited for all these houses? Was there something that you wish they would have brought? Because, you know, there's always, you're always going to have the, those houses where you're like, oh man, I wish, you know, they could have brought this or they could have brought that. What do you think? What do you, should they have taken something out, added something, maybe another haunted house, you know, go with nine haunted houses? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. Comment below. Uh, you know, give me your opinions. Uh, or do you think they should, the lineup is, is you would have completely changed it. You would have completely done something different. 
Let's talk about it. If you like this video, hit that like button. Really appreciate all the support. If you have not subscribed to The Howling Hour, hit that subscribe button. I'm on my road to, to 800, then 900, and then 1,000. So help me get there. Again, thank you for all the support. Uh, and remember, run with the pack.